All right, boys. Well, we have officially made it to the last day, hopefully, at Sam's shop. Serial 9 was very generous, and they ended up sending us some care packages with the last stuff that we need to make my chaser hopefully bulletproof. So we're going to start with this. This is going to be Sam's job today because, you know, we all know, like, I'm a good welder. You know, like, I can weld a couple things. You know, I got a stud out yesterday. I can do it. I'm just not the best at it. And Sam has been practicing a lot and stuff. And honestly, Sam's a pretty good welder, so we're gonna have him do this portion. All right, so this is the subframe reinforcement kit right here. This ensures that your chaser subframe is no longer going to crack. You don't have to deal with any dramas. You can just put this up, weld it up, and then you'll never have a problem anymore. There's more like smaller miscellaneous ones right there. So um, after we open all this stuff, the first thing I want to do is I just want to clean the subframe. Maybe I'm um, scotch it up a little bit so when Sam gets back, he's just ready to go to town and we can start welding this thing in. This I'm really excited for. If you watched the last video, we've been prepping for this. Let's open it up. Dude, look at how pretty these are. This is so sick. So this is the back mount of the um, subframe bushings. The one, that bracket that we took off yesterday, now it's just literally a solid piece of aluminum, so there is no chance that the subframe can move at all. These are, I believe, the front ones, and yeah, we'll look into that a little later. Let's dive into the next. Look at the CNCing and the anodizing. Ooh. Dude, I love the green, dude. Yeah. The green's fire. Dang, this is like a care package, dude. Ooh. Let's go. Dude, we gotta fly the flag when you drift. Dude. The stickers are pretty fire, I ain't gonna lie. Obviously, we're gonna be repping Serial 9 on the Chaser. Super stoked. Dude, the pull out, we gotta open this one. This is almost better than like the parts. You gotta- I you know. Gotta, you love the little I'm such goodies. a trinket guy, you know? Dude. This is sick. Hard. You know, we can actually hang this up in our shop. Yeah. We're gonna have to bring this back to America. We'll have to like figure out a way to maybe fly one like you were saying. Yeah, out the car. Hopefully it doesn't ruin it, but. <clears throat> All right, so. Back to car parts now, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, these are the diff bushings here, which should be super easy now that we um, already pressed those out. So these are new rack bushings, which is nice. I didn't even ask for these and Serial 9 hooked it up, so that's sick. And this right here, boy, let's go. This is a Serial 9 shirt, you ready? Serial 9 shirt, baby. Thank you Serial 9 for all the support. I am super, super hyped on this. Ooh, what is this? They give you deodorant? They trying to tell me I smell like Cool Ranch, dude? Mm -hmm. Nah, oh, dude, it's a shift knob! Oh! Dang, sit on it, baby, let's go! Ah, this is actually fire. I like that it matches the blue. My shift knob, it's literally a lug nut from Up Garage. Mm -hmm. So this is actually gonna be nice for the backies that I may or may not do. That's perfect, never miss a shift with a long knob. Cool. So these are the final subframe bushings, or the final diff bushings that go in the back of the subframe. So it seems that we have everything to make my car great again. So with that being said, let's raise the car up and start cleaning the subframe. Oh, we are sought. Fuck. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, I, Sam said he wanted me to clean the subframe. I'm just gonna pressure wash the whole thing, degrease it so there's no bullshit. And then we'll go reference the Serial 9 video on everywhere where they want us to weld it. And I'll just get it set up for Sam so you just. Psh, 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 psh. You gonna tack it on there for him? Nope. Nope. You got the Mighty Car Mods water to air intercooler set up. Straight up acid, I guess. No, it's degreaser. That's corrosive degreaser. It's Portuguese degreaser. They got different laws and shit. I got it on my finger, and my finger is literally rotting. I like that you're putting it on the handle of the brush we have to use. No, I'm not using that brush. Okay. Yeah, I can already see the grease dripping off. It works great. So we're going to wait a few minutes, let the acid eat away at the grime, and we'll be back soon. Yeah. You oh, that thing's covered in... Yeah, oh, dude. You just yeah, go wash your head. Go wash it. Dude's hand's gonna rot wow. off. Who left that there? Me. Thanks. Professional use only. Scary stuff. It works better. Well, I actually left my hand pretty clean. When you see professional painters, they're just into it.
So we just have to make sure everything is dry because obviously we're going to be welding and stuff. We don't want anything wet. And um, Sam's not here to weld anyways yet. So um, I got time. All right, boys. So now I am test fitting the kit right now. And I'm going back and forth through the video on where you need to weld all the stuff. So I'm just marking with an X where I actually need to sand. And then you can just weld it after that. So my job is to just figure out where everything goes. And then Sam can just give it a good old weld, you know? Is that working pretty good? It's actually working really good. A lot better than I anticipated. All right, boys, so I lied. I want to get a crack at this thing, so I'm going to try to weld it. We're going to start with some tack welds just around it, see how it goes, and then if I can't do it, we'll pass her to Sam. All right, boys, well, it looks like we have finished the first piece. Definitely a learning experience for sure but you can definitely see like where I started like we started here we started there like here but we definitely started to get the hang of it over there here there these are pretty good it seems like I moved a little too fast for those in here looks pretty good all of that they look pretty clean and stuff so I'm just gonna continue to do it myself I mean regardless I like learning on things like this because like it's pretty thick material um, some exhausts are really thin and it's super easy to poke holes and stuff So this is like a good way to learn to like kind of get the momentum of the gun and like every single time I hit a new weld I'm figuring out like like a painter, you know, like how they paint. I'm figuring yeah. out the welding wrist You know, it's the flick of the wrist mm. I'm literally just... In the kitchen wrist twisting like a stir fry. That's it. So we're gonna have to paint this too. I'm just gonna fuck lop some black paint on it. Yeah. It doesn't matter. She don't need to be pretty. I'm trying to debate if I want to just blow this off, spray it, and why I'm marking. I guess I can't do that because I'll be sanding everywhere. Yeah. It's a bummer. All right, we're gonna flip this over and then we're gonna do the backside now. Let's hit it. So, we're just marking right now. Getting ready to sand. Honestly, I like the fucking welding better than I like the sanding. The sanding's AIDS, dude. Yeah, no, this is a um, pretty tedious job, but it's gonna be really worth it when there's people at Ebisu cracking subframes. And Serial 9's got me covered, so. Where it'll be all G. <laughs> so, I forgot to clean this round. I just blew some air. So it's welding really dirty right now, and it was just sucking, so Sam's tagging in for this one. I did learn a lesson, though. You, you're supposed to tack them in, and then you're supposed to hammer them down so they're flat. I didn't know you were supposed to hammer them, so uh, this one was raised a little for a couple welds, so we had to, like, bridge it. Wow, it's so dirty here. But it's really Fun stuff, eh? Yeah, real dirty in that spot, but we patched it. Oh, nice, dude. Should probably no one's ever gonna see those boogers underneath. Mm -hmm. Luckily, that's up against the car. This needs to be fixed here. You can really tell where it's dirty, hey. Yeah. It was wild. That was a nice speed. Ain't coming off from that. So Chris just tagged me in, and I started welding in the gussets and stuff to try and get this done faster for him. And I flipped over the subframe and I found this. This is a huge crack, and this is one of the big issues with these subframes, which is exactly why we are reinforcing it right now. It, it's just what they do. They're like in time, this whole PC will snap into. It's wild. Yeah, that's so the fact crazy. that we found it like that is is really lucky. And that's stock bushes and everything. And like that's and this crazy. has not been drifted. I mean, I don't like know. I'm sure it has, but I mean, it had an open diff. Mm -hmm. Or I guess it had a little viscous, but no, no angle, no nothing, no. like no. bone stop yeah. car. So just, just wear and tear, normal driving around will crack these subframes on JZX 100s. It's not unheard of. So, so how yeah. long do you think I would have had? Oh, that, that would have most likely gotten pretty bad by the end of the weekend. <laughs> you think so? Oh, for sure. Especially all if you got a hit or something. Yeah, and you've also got a better clutch now and all that type of stuff. There's yeah. no giveaway, there's no dual mass flywheel or any of that stuff. So. And then with the solid mounts, like, there's going to be a lot. 
So yeah. that's why we're doing the gussets. We're gonna weld, we're gonna sand that, weld it down. Yep. And then I'm gonna have to grind it because obviously this is where the div goes. Yeah. Well, yeah. We'll just weld that, and you make that flush again. You should be good. Cool. Let's do it. Yep. All right, boys, well, we officially finished welding the subframe up. I just took it outside and I just sprayed some black spray paint everywhere. To be honest, it won't be the most durable thing out there, but before this thing rots out, I mean, this thing will be in the graveyard. So it's not that big of a deal. Um, I think the thing came out really good. I welded about 85% of it myself and I did learn a lot doing it, so that was cool. Sam ended up taking over because uh, I wanted to go eat some dinner and stuff like that. So shout out to you, Sam. Now we're actually getting back to um, um, the bushing so serial 9 makes this great bushing kit it just pretty much converts it to um, solid aluminum so you don't have to worry about any sort of movement in the subframe and they're super easy you ready for this it's in installed it's in this one's a little more difficult this one I think we're gonna have to put it up but I mean one hit with the mallet, that thing will be right in. So let's flip this thing up real quick and I'm gonna grab a mallet. Boom, in. Just like that, the bushings are in. They're all good to go. We got solid bushings. So now what we have are these, literally just go like this. Now I do need to figure out if we're using these still. Hope they act like as little spacers. I do something. Let's see if they can fit. So we definitely have to use that because once we tighten this thing, it'll jump on those threads. So that's simple enough. We answered our own question. Pop those on. Bada boom. Bada bang. Ooh, okay. The black and the, green looks good. It looks real good. Look at that. The spray paint actually doing something. Get a couple of love taps just for fun. Don't need it. All right, let's grab the nuts. We'll tighten those just lightly. And then I guess we can put the subframe in. So what I'm thinking is I'm just gonna get the subframe in first. Oh, I gotta put the diff mounts in. But I wanna get the subframe in first just cause it'll be a little less heavy. And then I can just kind of hold it up. Matt can put some bolts in or vice versa. And then um, we'll just put the diff in cause that's heavy as well. Then we'll just tackle the control arms and do it that way. So let me get these nuts. But these should go in pretty easily. And the beauty of the Serial 9 stuff is it's like not like a press in. So like if you do kind of mess this orientation up, it's very easy to just like kind of turn it when it's already in there. Boom. We'll clean it off after because my butt hurt. That's going to fall. I don't know why I put that there, but it's fine. Everything's fine. This one doesn't matter. It's a hole in the middle. Just like that, boys. Pop that. Pop that. We'll orientate that right, don't worry. I do have OCD sometimes. Perfect. So a good looking subframe. Oh, it looks beautiful. And this is gonna make the car just feel so much better. Like, I almost wish I drove this car with stock bushings just so I can really feel the difference. But like, it's gonna be huge. It's gonna be sick and I'm excited. So, um, let me take my Instagram picture and then um, we're gonna wrestle this thing in. So this is what happens when you actually watch a video to do an install before you install something. You actually learn a thing or two. So it's super important to actually put some anti-seize on the bolts because it's very easy to like strip out the body of your car because the bolt portion of this is, or the nut portion of this is actually inside of the car. So the last thing you want to do is mess it up. So you just want to Make sure it just everything just works smoothly. It can come out smoothly. Like you don't want any drama. So we're just gonna be very nice to this. I'm just gonna paint the fuck out. Very generous. Very generous. We're just gonna fucking paint the whole thing. I'm not fucking around. I don't want I don't want any problems, you know? So we're just gonna do that. If I ever if I ever have to take that subframe out, you know what's not gonna be stuck? The subframe bolts. <laughs> or if I ever sell this car, someone's gonna be like, dang. I gotta take the subframe out for whatever reason, even though everything's done, thanks to Serial 9. Um, wow, the dude that put the subframe together really know what the hell he was doing. <laughs> Little do you know, it was Chris Rodnock. 
More likely they're pulling the subframe out because the chassis is junked and they found it in the junkyard. Yeah, and they're like, yo, dude, that subframe, killer work. Yeah. Who was that company again? Oh, Serial 9, dude, they come up with the best stuff, dude. All right, Matt, you think you got this, dude? I'm trying. You got this? Don't fuck it up, okay? You got one job, don't fuck it. <laughs> the high effort. Where are you going? That's the front, bro. <laughs> Yo, dude, you good? I held that thing over my head for like five minutes earlier. Yeah, ready? Yeah, yeah, go. Okay. Good, yeah, perfect. Yeah. Just sit there for about five minutes. Don't let it down. I'm not. How you doing? Good. You fine? Yeah. Fuck, dude, I gotta go shit. I'll be right back. No, imagine. <laughs> yo, yo, dude. Yo. Chill. Oh, I have the worst song playing. What is it? I think it's clappy. Yo! Can you look? Now I'm stuck. No, it's from. I don't high. care about your song anymore. Now. <laughs> Where's the Horizon Three? Dang, dude! Cool. Quickest sub subframe install yeah, ever. Not bad. That was actually sick. Yeah. All right, so I'm just gonna tighten these up real quick, and then um, we're gonna work on the diff. The song was "Throw Your Hands" by Danny Bird. It's from. Forza Horizon radio, the house one. All right, boys, diff pushings. Bada boom. Bada bang. Fuck yeah. All right, we're just filling up the diff quick before we put it in. Just makes life easier. Thank you, Tomei, for giving us this awesome gear oil. Extra power train gear oil. Perfect. Before we run the car, I'll just take the fill plug back out, and if it's leaking, it's just beautiful. Maybe let it leak for a couple seconds, and then we'll be good. <laughs> the, this, the bolt. Look we'll at the thing. Look we'll at the bolts, bro. <laughs> Fucking heavy. Is it? Yes, it's full. It's overfilled. I can fucking feel it. No, over. shut the fuck up, dude. I can guarantee you 40 bucks. It's overfilled. <laughs> I guarantee you crack this drain plug when it's bolted in, it'll fucking leak out a quart. A quart? You think so? Okay, that one's in. Just relax. Everything's fine, dude. Where did that fucking thing go? Fucking smashing things around, bro. I don't know where it is. What's over to the right, bro? Don't like up. No push up. Hey, what are you doing? Good. Put that stuff right in? Yep, diffs in too. Oh, can I let go? No, one second. Holy hell, bro. Did you put enough anti seize on that shit? Just <laughs> chill, bro. Just chill. The whole fucking bottle? Just chill, you're good. Oh my god, those are supposed to be white. Yeah, I'm gonna clean them too. Just relax. Okay, no, that's right. No. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. I just watched a video on this. Don't come over here salmon it. so much anti -seed? I watched a video, he said be very generous with it, so I was fucking generous. Oh my god, it's everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> I love it. There's anti seeds everywhere on your subframe. Oh, do you still put this freaking weight on? No, you have to. Yeah, they bought them out. Really? Yeah, it pushes over the um. Oh, weird. I don't think mine has it. Well, <laughs> I'm fucked up putting that in. <laughs> Looks good though. I just love that there's all this anti seize everywhere and all the RTV on the tip too. I just like to be safe. What do you think, dude? Oh my god, dude, that's way too much. No, it's not. Dude, you only need it on the threads. Nah, dude. It's fine. Listen, my car is going together, and I'm going drifting tomorrow, okay? Well, you won't be drifting tomorrow. You'll be drifting Wednesday. No, I'm drifting tomorrow. I'm doing it. I'm leaving at 4 a.m. tonight. This puppy's going to be done. You're going to wake up, and I'll be like, yo, dude, my north course, learn backies. Uh-huh. With the anti sees you look, I'm lifting up the diff, threading in the bolt, bro. Beautiful. This is fucking brilliant. 
Yeah, that also the, works in the reverse way, right? The whole, I know, it's gonna be you're great. Gonna be, you're gonna be drifting, <laughs> nah, vibrating, nah. and the voltages are gonna unthread themselves, and you'll yeah. be like, oh, there's my diff. That's why you use the torque spec. You know what it is? What is it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's all being squished out of the ball pack. It's just for the threads, dude. <laughs> Listen, they said these strip out real easy. I've had things strip out, I just don't want to deal with it. I don't. The torque spec is good and tight. <coughs> good and Morgan? Good and tight. Good and tight. Dude, it looks so legit. How do we do all of this work and like the dumbest thing breaks and you can't drive? I'm just gonna kick your ass. Even if it's, if whether it's your fault or not, I'm just gonna fucking fight soon. This, this diff is nice. Cool things, man. The car is cool. Oh, yeah. This thing's gonna the be the best nice thing. Fuck the paint job. <laughs> no. You could like literally get a razor blade and just scrape it off. All right, boys. Well, we got the diff in, we got the subframe in, we got all of the arms. Thankfully, we marked everything, so it was super easy to put the eccentric bolts back where we needed. Um, the kit came with some extra things to actually delete the eccentric lockout. We we're at to, to to actually delete the eccentric bolts, but we don't have um, custom or up, upgraded arms, so we're just not going to use those for now. We will, maybe Ebisu round two, we'll get arms and stuff, because obviously you want to adjust your toe and all of that stuff, and Serial 9 gives you everything to properly do that. They also sell arms and stuff, but um, we didn't do it for that trip. We have so much to do regardless. But anyways, we got to get the drive shaft in. Before we do that, we should probably get the e-brake on. We gotta just tighten the calipers, tighten the axle bolts. Sway bar. Sway bar. Just like miscellaneous stuff. We're just kind of grinding away at it as we go. So we Center just- care bearing. Yeah, we gotta do everything. <laughs> There's still a lot to do. So we just want to give you guys a little update. We're gonna continue working and um, we'll see you right now. I'm stoked. I'm <laughs> tired, but I am stoked. We got trans fluid in. We got the drive shaft in. Everything's tight. We got the exhaust on. All the hangers, we got the downpipe obviously The on. brakes, the sway bar. The brakes, the sway bar. The fluids, we drained and made sure the diff is good, the trans Checked is good. Literally everything. And um, yeah, I mean, we're pretty close to being ready for Ebisu. We'd finish the car tonight, but I, I really gotta do fucking laundry. I have no laundry left. Yeah, and we're about to miss the train. Last thing is just these sensors. Oh, we're just gonna cut those. Those are just ABS, so that's all good. Cool. Then, um, we just, in the morning, we'll have to do an alignment because I just left these loose because I didn't take them off and whoever did whoever took them off didn't mark them so I just didn't bother with trying. Um, so we gotta toe plate it and Plenty. we gotta put a fuel pump in. Yeah, but we do have to wire in the defi gauges but I already ran all of the wires in the engine bay and stuff. So we're, we just have to pull 12 volts from the radio and then we'll be good. We'll have to put coolant in it, put the bumper on and then she's fucking ready to rumble, dude. Test the brakes and test the power. Test the fucking power. I already did the the tap, the turbo tap, turbo T, turbo smart tap T thing. So um, yeah, I guess we'll see you guys in the fucking morning. I'm gonna clean up some Sam's tools, sweep a little bit. We're gonna get the fuck out of here. But today was a good day. Yeah. A lot the of fact that we fucking weld that whole subframe, painted it. Got the whole thing. This is probably the most work we've done in one video in a long time. Yeah. It's a lot of work. Yeah, this was a. Fuck, a man. Day. This is what a real day feels like. Yeah. Holy shit. We've been slacking for a long <laughs> time, huh? Holy fuck. Oh. Anyways, all right, we're out of here. See ya. All right, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I just got to the shop and Sam is helping the bro out right now. He um, started the car, he put some coolant and water in it, and he. Just finished wiring up my death gauges. Thank you, buddy. I'm actually hyped on this. I walk in, I see the car running and shit. I'm like, yo, let's go. Well, you were supposed to be here at 10, and that was. Well, Mac got fucking welding burn in his eye. Hey, man, that's that's that sounds like an employer issue. <laughs> no, I didn't that tell him. Like the I didn't tell him to stare at the. Yeah, what, what, what's OSHA say in the USA? Is it up <coughs> to the employer to teach their employees how to be, you know, workplace health and safety hey, man, safe? I didn't tell him to look at the welds. 
I didn't ask him to I do don't that. think he was. I think he was just sitting in front of it the whole time on his phone. <laughs> and doesn't know that like, even though yeah, it's no in your peripheral you're not vision, at, yeah. yeah, it'll get you. We warned him. Like we said like 50 times yesterday, I'm like, bro, you should probably like not look at it or not sit there, but. Yeah, anyways. well, here we are. So Matt is um, currently blind today. So I don't know if He's Matt is. Back in the is, car. He, is he back in the car again? <laughs> Matt likes to like, Take a car and sleep in it. That's his new thing. I think, well, today he's avoiding light. Yeah, so. which makes sense. Um, Sam, dude. <laughs> I got some bad news. I guess it doesn't matter too much for you, but it sucks for me. That fitting's leaking. Right now? It's like barely leaking, but once we actually like give this thing more oil pressure. Yeah, we've got some other fittings we can use. Only one's leaking though, so maybe I can try to take that other one. Yeah, switch it out before we get out, try to not make too much of a mess. To give you guys a little more context of what I'm talking about, we've got all good real parts, all JDM goodness, homemade stuff, Toyota OEM gaskets. The only thing we cheaped out on just because we could just get them quick and it was easy was the AN lines. And you can see leaking and it's not even leaking from where you actually attach the AM line to hose it's leaking from the actual threads and trust me it's tight I made sure that fucker was really tight and to be honest I know this is frowned upon but I was desperate the other day because when I first started it it was actually pissing before I just put some sealant around the threads which you're not supposed to do with AN fittings but I figured I'm like fuck like what else am I supposed to do right now we ordered, once we found that out, we ordered real fittings. So those should be here today. It just sucks because like, this is probably one of the worst things that could happen for me just because I personally hate making AM lines and I ran it all under the battery tray. And so everything's gotta just come back in, which is just annoying after working on this thing for two full weeks. It is what it is, not stoked about it, but we're still gonna make the episode. So boys, we went to Up Garage real quick, and to be frank, I am um, quite over little stupid problems. Even though this is like the first problem we really had, um, we went there to go find some 90 fittings because we just found out that the fittings that we ordered won't be here till tomorrow, and it was Project Ebisu leave today, so we can't have that. So we ended up finding this oil cooler for the actual price of $100, not $1,000, just a hundy. And um, yeah, it's got the HCAS fittings and everything, so this will definitely work. This hose is gonna be perfect. This one will probably be a little too long, but nothing the zip tie can't fix. I can't be fucked taking that thing apart, cutting it, and running any sort of risk. So we're just gonna run it. So I'm gonna take the fittings off of this cooler, I'm gonna run some brake clean, run some um, compressed air, dry it out, and then we're just gonna put these in. And then the car should be done. We just gotta do a little toe plate alignment in the front. And I gotta put a fuel pump in, and then we are off, baby. What do you think, Sam? Get it done, hurry up, stop talking. Oh, sorry. What you doing, mate? Rodney doesn't wanna spend any money, so <laughs> I'm making sure he's got a passenger seat. Yeah, no, I wanna bring people along for the ride, but I also, I'm done spending money, bro. We've already tested. We actually ended up cutting them down a little bit because they were super long, but that's all good there. Um, we got the battery back in. Riley and Dikey, they cleaned up my, oh, those aren't my headlights, these are my headlights. They polished up my headlights because they were disgusting so I can see. And we also have HID, so they should be pretty bright. I'm not trying to get well burned in my eyes, man. It's got me all nervous. Dude's been sleeping since we got here. <laughs> Gotta feel bad for him a little, eh? Yeah, that's why we're not waking him up. Yeah, yeah dude, you booger her up, buddy. Yeah, get her done. So, I just took the fuel pump out because I got an AM fuel pump, but turns out there's a wall barrel already in it. So, I don't know. Good, good peace of mind to know that it's there. And the last thing, other than the seat, once we finish that up, we just gotta do an alignment, and we're getting the fuck out of here. What you got here? Got your little Defi, uh... A genuine ZD Advance. I think everywhere else in the world there were tons of fakes of these made. Really? Yeah, but these are awesome because they still use all the DEFI control modules and all the sensors. And instead of having like 50,000, you know, gauges all on your dash. Let's be honest though, 50,000 gauges is cool. Oh, it's a 90s vibe for sure. <laughs> I love it. You know, the whole Dude, that's, that's a viral video. How many gauges can you run in one car? 
Yeah, dude, dude, imagine your dad. Yeah, holy shit. Oh, dude, fall. up on the A pillar and shit. There's people in Japan like that actually do that. That's I know. Their thing. For it's no so viral funny. videos. Yeah. <laughs> so funny. What do we got on it? Anyway, so right now we got the oil pressure, the water temp, the voltage, and there'll also be boost here. So we're just gonna change what you want to see on the screen at all times. Does it have to be, be in KPA? Uh, I, yes, I think so. Does it have to be in Celsius? Yes. Well, it looks like I'm learning. You're Can learning. we just like write like some sticky notes on what's <laughs> o when to chill and when to not, you know? It'll be fine. We can also set the alarm digitally too. So like, you know, oil temperature or water temperature when it to go, when, when you want it to go crazy. Sick. Oh, you dude, your timer's done, bro. Yeah, I gotta go pick up my laundry. Dang, you're a laundromat boy too? Today, the weather is terrible. Dude, it's a monsoon yeah, out monsoon there. Yeah, monsoon today. But the weather looks amazing after today. Like all sunshine up at every seat for the next Yeah, I'm days. stoked. Yeah. I'm excited for that. Me too. I'm still admiring that this thing is just running. It's quiet. Like, can we actually just like talk about how quiet and good this is? Yeah, I'm fucking stoked. Dang, dude, that looks hot as fuck. Almost tucking two six fives. Pretty much, mm. I pretty much am tucking two six five right. on ten and a half, dude. Yeah. How do you think? Oh good. my God! Wait, can you open looking your looking eye? Like... They're just red they as hurt fuck. So Does it feel bad. like you got sand in there? It feels like I have a little metal, like if you if you're yeah. grinding, just little yeah, like sand in your eye. Yeah. yeah, it'll take another day. Fuck, dude, I can't do this for another day. Sorry, bro. There's Sorry. nothing you can well, do there. It's just eye drops. Thankfully, it's gonna be yeah. dark when we leave. Yeah, dude, and, the, and that doesn't help. The light, no, the light is so bad right now. Hey, um, you want to help me film a couple clips of me welding? <laughs> <laughs> never again. <laughs> I told you, he's never going to get near a welder again. But, on the bright side, this, looks sick. this actually looks gangster, dude. This looks really good. I doubted it. Like, when you said 10 and a half, I was like, no way. Nah, chases, man. Like I said, like I run the same setup on my chase. This is a good height, yeah? Phones. Yeah, this is great. This is good? Maybe yeah, this will be fine. The only thing I'm worried about is if your exhaust drags a little bit, so we may have to raise it up. But Dude, look at the exhaust. It's, oh, I guess we're going to be like a little bit of this. Yeah. It's in a little how you do it. we got to raise it, we got to raise it at the track. It's not a big deal. Yeah. Just let's make sure we bring the HKS uh, spanners. Yep. But, um, okay, cool. So give you guys a little update. Everything inside is done. We actually have a passenger seat that's all bolted down, looking good. We got our monkey friend. Um, I double-sided taped the boost gauge and the Defi digital dash thing. Dude. Meh. Yo. I'm so stoked on how this worked out. Fab by Sam. Mm, was not intended. I, just, I love that you got a seatbelt too. I know. It's fucking Street legal. Brilliant. Where's the seatbelt clip on this side? Wait, what? There's no clip for are the seatbelt. Are you serious? Yes, oh, dude, we took it off. You gotta bolt it back on. You that, need to take it's that one. Cause we only had one. Oh fuck, dude. Well, we gotta go to gotta up garage. As long up. as you wear a harness, it should be okay. Fuck, that's so annoying. That's beyond annoying. That is actually so funny. That is, we're like, wait a minute, what the hell? I'm actually really pissed off. Do you think this just works with like any other one? Cause I've got, I've got one of these somewhere, maybe off a of Nissan or something. But I mean, I guess we can just work? plug it in and find out. I mean, yeah. It's one bolt away. Funny is that That's really AIDS, good. dude. Oh, this is all on now? Yeah, it's Hell all good. Hell yeah, dude. We just got to program it or whatever you said. Yeah, we'll Google that later. So, Did that's my... fine, but you should have to... No, it doesn't oh, lock. no one took the spring out. Look Yo, this is it? funny. Open the cup holder real quick. Look at those bolts. What are those bolts? <laughs> I was cleaning up and I saw that. It's like motherfucker. We use for your information. If you have a chaser and you don't have um, seat bolts, you can use a GDR fucking axle bolts. Axle bolts. I kind of want my axle bolts back. <laughs> nah, they're fine, dude. It's fine. <laughs> don't oh, look at that. It's your favorite fittings, dude. Don't get me started on that. I'm totally not stealing some bolts just in case. So good. We'll add it to your invoice. Get out of here with this invoice thing. You're making <laughs> well, me now nervous. Now you sold them the Koenigs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, the Koenigs look good. They Koenigs actually look fire. Look great, yeah. yeah. But, um, okay, we got to fix the drift button. And then, I keep saying it. <laughs> we just got to do a front alignment still. Dude, it looks so hot, bro. Wow, that's sick. Damn, shorty got nuts ass, dude. Dikey like did a killer job cleaning up the um, headlights. Got those installed. Yeah, he was a real rice boy, dude. He's got that blue. 
Might be semi-illegal, but it's fine. Maybe people will pull over for me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because it doesn't lock now, yeah? Well, it does. You push it forward to lock it. Oh. Well, then why would I give a fuck? We should change your shift knob to that other one. Oh, for sure. Definitely. This one is heinous. Dude, I can't wait. I'm fucking nervous, dude. I'm so that so North Course wall, bro? Uh, don't worry about that wall. I am so don't terrified. Worry wall. Don't worry about the wall. You don't think so? So, look. Oh, fucking money. You want to lock it? Lift it? Push, pull it out. Locked. Oh. And I don't know why you would ever put the spring back in. Is Sorry. everything tight? Everything's tight. No rattles? No rattles. Bye. What do you think of that? The mascot. I love it. He's fucking mint, dude. Yo. <laughs> He's literally going from one side to the other. I'm stoked. Yeah, it's great. I'm really happy. No, you did great, dude. I can't wait for you to experience this thing. Um, I'm nervous. Like, you know that feeling when you work for, I know you know this feeling, but like when you work just nonstop for like two weeks. And you finally get And then to you have to drive it. it and then you're going to just feel like everything is going to fucking break. Oh, for sure. I'm about to live that for right now. Fine. Dude, good. is that a hidden gem? Yeah, it's like a hidden. Is it like a grinder? Wait, I think there might be a roach in here. No, shut up. <laughs> no, that doesn't exist in Japan. Oh, I should just be able to... No, just leave that on. No way, is that the same thread pitch? Dude, Serial9 already knew, bro. He saw a picture of my car and he's like, oh, he's got that freaking up garage shift knob. Let's hook him up. Yo, dude, I love that. I love it. Dude, he, he even picked the right color. For I it. know, he's a legend. Jared, man. Jared. Bro, that is sick. That that's the backy shift knob right there. Oh yeah, that's the. Yeah, that's the backy that's knob. Slab, slab my knob like corn on the cob. <laughs> Bro, are you kidding me? Yo, yo. We're not even at episode yet, bro. What are you doing? Bro, I told you. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck, man? Oh my god. Grant actually posted something on his story yesterday. It was like someone crashing and like kicking out their trunk. And I was like, man, like, I hate to watch this because I know this is going to happen to me sooner or later. It like literally hurt my soul to watch it. But I guess you're just getting me. You Dude, that lock is insane. Yes, dude. That's why we're going to fold over Holy this little lift. Holy fuck, dude. Yes, dude. <laughs> it's so false flat. That's why we got to get rid of this lift. Dude, it's like almost, wow, that's actually insane, bro. So, just showing some love to a couple companies that helped me out, gave me some, de oh, that gave me some deals and stuff. We got Tome with that two-way diff. We got Serial 9. Figured just put them on the window so they're big, bold, and beautiful. Yeah, I am fucking hyped up, bro. This car is actually going to look pretty good with the Koenig. Daiki gave me some of his scrubs, the 235. 4018 so we can put the Koenigs in the front as well we have to run a little spacer because it's hitting this um knuckle was hitting the knuckle right there so we're all g now and um we just gotta do an alignment and we're yeah, done <laughs> all right boys well the car is done on <laughs> the alignment but we are gonna put it on the ground right now we just had to go to up garage because my lug nuts were 21 mil so we ended up getting some 17s and remember that steering wheel that i bought that was $434. Sam's fluent Japanese got me out of that nightmare. We got it done. Yeah, at first they didn't want to give it to us, but Sam's a sweet talker in Japanese and he made it happen. So for returning that steering wheel, I ended up getting money back and all this stuff. I didn't want to leave you guys hanging. I do want to make that video because I think it's quite funny. So we actually got like a $65 wheel right here. It's a 280 mail. We're not even going to open it until the video. I think that's more exciting. Um, got a little car holder because we have a four hour drive. We got a harness for me. To be honest, they had terrible colors, red, blue, green, no black. So I figured if it was going to be some weird color, might as well just go camo. So we got that. I'm bringing it back to the OG days, my stoner days, dude, the black ice and vanilla. So we're going to be running that. And we just got these eyelets for the harness. And then we got a Broadway mirror. This sucker was only a dollar, dude. One dollar for this thing. So I was like, hell yeah, I'm getting that. And that's about it. So next thing you see, this is going to be on the ground. Let's do it. I ain't even going to lie, bro. This doesn't feel real right now. The right. fact that it hasn't left the lift in two weeks. I like, think it's been more than two weeks. No, I think it's been just about two weeks. But, dude, this thing is Ebisu specked out. Well, this is, this is actually low right now because Dikey's jacking up the diff so he can get the rear arms out. Dude, are you sure we can't go any lower? Nope, because you'll already be touching with it. Oh, no, dude. 
Sorry, dude. Oh, no. I can't wait to see it lowered. Oh, it's not terrible. Yo, are we going to rub back here, bro? Yeah, you might need to raise the rears a bit. We can do that at ABC. It's actually not terrible. No, it's already rolled, so. <laughs> Is that what I'm going to hear the whole time? Wait, no, on two, three, fives, I won't rub at all. No, two, three, fives, you won't rub. Oh, I'm leaving that, dude. That's all good. And look, and look, we are fucking. We got the wheels in here. Looks great. We got so much shit. One more Koenig needs to fit back here, dude. This is crazy. This doesn't even feel real that this car is done. I don't trust it for shit. <laughs> I'm expected to be on the side of the road in about 30 minutes, bro. Dude needs to stop talking. Stop moving. Let's go. Dude, I'm just admiring. Dude, it looks so tough, bro. Matt was standing right there. Yo, how, how are you doing, bro? Ah, oh, just put the glasses back yeah, on. You got messed up. Yeah, no, I'm pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Or it's a, or it's a fake because you're stoned. No, <laughs> you wish. Let's go, boys. So, shocker. Um, my speedo doesn't work. The speedometer is read through the ABS. Plug the ABS lines back in, but shocker, it don't work. So I'm just not gonna deal with it. That's the only thing on the car that doesn't work. Dude, I think this thing's kind of hot. This thing's fucking sick, bro. If this thing was like a nice wine red or something, the fit, man, I'm definitely gonna have to race this at Ebisu. There's no doubt in my mind. Damn. All right, here we go. This is surreal. Bro, I'm already geeking out. This is so I surreal. literally took the tiniest corner and I heard the diff, bro. I'm screaming like a little girl. This is so sick. Chaser in Japan, dude. The little dash, what everything. What you doing, dude? Dude, this is, this is what I've worked for two weeks for. This, this is, is sick. The, this is the moment we've been waking Dude, week. the fact that we are in the Chaser in Japan, yeah. driving to Ebisu, like it's one thing, like if you're towing it and shit, it's just like, it's not the same. Street driving is thousand times cooler like ever. this this brings me back to the og days where i just had the ricer and we would r literally ratchet strap tires to the freaking roll bar yeah. like look at the back dude Fuck. and we have two more wheels in the back and we have so many spare parts i'm hoping that i'm not hoping that people break but i'm hoping that people break to make some money back <laughs> <laughs> we spent a lot of money to be here we spent a lot of money on the car a lot of money on parts but dude this moment right here it's it's all worth it absolutely it's literally all worth it but we're gonna end the video right here guys this video is long as hell we got the whole car done and as you can see we are about to drive it so i'm freaking stoked stay tuned for the next one we're gonna be vlogging to Abisu, and we're gonna go hang out yo listen, hold on listen to the dip ready i think you we hear that bro we gotta give them a little boost just a teaser yeah i don't even know what my boost he is at bro, this is insane dude all right see ya ah, bye